Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to introduce the co-designs ESD pillars. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to identify the three pillars of the co-designs ESD toolkit and explain the importance of the three pillars. The first pillar focuses on the key competencies for sustainability identified by UNESCO. They are all the relevant competencies needed to be able to act and face sustainability challenges. Among these competencies are system thinking, future thinking, critical thinking, and so on. The second pillar focuses on the specific learning objectives for the SDGs, which emphasize the importance of introducing not only the cognitive domain, aiming to develop knowledge and thinking skills, but also the socio-emotional domain, aiming to develop values, attitudes, and motivations. And finally, the behavioral domain, which aims to promote action competencies. The third pillar focuses on transformative pedagogies, which we already discussed in module two, which are key in implementation of those competencies and learning objectives in curriculum design. Transformative pedagogies support collaboration, problem orientation, and inter- and transdisciplinary learning. On this slide, we can see how the different key competencies for sustainability that are relevant to all SDGs presented in the UNESCO report in 2017, and more recently in the ESD guidelines published by the QAA and Advanced AG, have been classified on, on the ways of thinking, ways of practicing, and ways of being. Among these competencies, we have system thinking competency, which refers to the abilities to recognize and understand relationships. Future thinking competency, which refers to the abilities to understand and evaluate multiple futures, assessing the consequences of action, dealing with risk and change, as well as critical thinking competency, collaboration and problem solving, and so on and so forth. On this slide now, we can see the specific learning objectives for the SDGs. We can see the brain, the heart, and the hand. The cognitive, the socio-emotional, and the behavioral domain. What we would like to emphasize with this pillar is that embedding ESD in curriculum design requires all of them in order to really offer a transformative learning experience. We don't want our students to just develop knowledge and thinking skills, but we also want them to connect with their hearts, to develop values, attitudes, and motivations. They also need to engage with their hands, actively engaging with the community, developing those action competencies that will drive them to become agents of change. And finally, the third pillar highlights the importance of introducing transformative pedagogies and teaching methods to be able to engage the head, the heart, and hands of our students, fostering inter and transdisciplinary learning. You may remember this area was already discussed in module two, where object-based learning, for example, which is here, as well as uh, digital storytelling were discussed. In summary, we've reviewed the three co-designs ESD pillars which are key in the implementation of ESD in curriculum design. In the next lecture, we'll discuss in more detail how the Codesign's ESD toolkit guides the application of the three pillars in curriculum design. Thank you for watching.